OK, now that you've written your first Arduino program and you've understood how to control Arduino outputs, first by telling the Arduino that it is an output using the pin mode command, and then turning that output on and off using the digital write command. It's now time for you to attempt your first programming challenge. That first program, just blinking an LED on and off, is all well and good, but actually we could quite easily accomplish that same task without the need for a programmable controller. Where programmable components really come into their own is when we want a slightly more complicated system. I'd like you to think about a traffic light. There are three lights in a set of traffic lights, the red, the amber and the green. And you'll notice that on our tutorial shields, LEDs 1, 2 and 3 are green, amber and red. I'd like you to have a go at programming a traffic light sequence to operate on these three LEDs. Don't forget that if you're going to want to use pins 2 and 3, you'll need to tell the Arduino that they are outputs before you can use the digital write command on them. Using what you've learned, see if you can code a program to control pins 1, 2 and 3 to make a traffic light sequence. You may need to research this on the internet if you don't know what the sequence of traffic lights is. Once you've completed this task, upload it to your Arduino, and if you're doing this in lessons, show it to your teacher. If you're not in school at the moment, compare it with an animation online as to what a set of traffic lights is meant to look like. Check that you've got it working correctly.